Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me as I follow along with the Junk Journal July challenges for 2024 and the introductory video is linked in my description box. So before I get started today, I'd like to give a shout out to a fellow YouTube creator and uh, her, ch her name, her channel is of the same name, I believe. So this is Wendy Duar Hughes. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but anyways. Uh, my, I was looking for how to do some watercolor backgrounds on a journal page that inside a journal that's already pre-made. I'm not very experienced with watercolors and I just wasn't sure how to best approach it, but watercolors is what popped into my head for the prompt colors for day 21. And so as I was getting inspiration and some know-how, I came across Wendy's channel and she had actually just watercolored an image onto the book, book page with no prep, no nothing. And she sketched an image first and, and went ahead and, and did that watercoloring. Well, I, I thought it was so beautiful. I was so inspired. I thought I'm going to give it a go. And now I can't draw with her darn. So I had to imitate what she did because I had to watch her over and over and over again and practice on my own until I could get it at least passable, which this is passable at best. And so this was one of those where imitation is truly a form of flattery because I thought her page was so beautiful and I was so inspired. I really wanted to try it, even though it's way above my skill level. So thank you so much, Wendy. And a, a link to that video will be in the description box. So I have this image of the frog and I love this so much and this was my first runner up to the bear picture which I used for the wildlife challenge but I'm still going to incorporate it in my journal and I really like the way that this sets on this printed background I think it really goes well together so I've trimmed down the picture quite a bit because I want to do some collaging and I really don't want to completely cover up that background so I also thought maybe some kind of a window or something would be fun and so here I've cut three circles or different sizes in a scrap paper and I end up thinking that the middle one will be just nice because you just barely get a little peek of the frog and so you'll have to lift it up to see behind and uh, that ends up not happening. It ends up being the larger circle because, well, I just made a boo-boo, but uh, anyway, I'm just deciding there which circle size to use. So here I'm just uh, picking out which pieces I want to use behind my little frog here. And I know for sure that I want that long pink piece on the right bottom right corner for sure. And then I just think that it would look better than on the other side of the page next to that washi tape. So just breaking up the pink a little bit. And then I don't need both of those. They're almost the same size so I end up picking the one that says visitor and those are the two pieces that I'm going to use to collage I'm going to be filling in the rest with some lace and some bling and things like that so I think it's at this point that I have the idea to make the frame that's going over froggy into a tag shape and and just having that circle in the middle of the tag and making, I'm going to make the tag piece approximately the same width as that scrap piece of paper that you see there. So I'm just going to make it a plain opening. I'm not going to use any acetate or any vellum there. I just want a little opening over my little frog. So I think it's at this point that I decide to go make the tag and everything off camera and get everything attached to the page. So I also adhered the book page onto the tag and punched out my circle off camera. But I was really annoyed with myself because I forgot to add something to the back of the tag before I punched the hole. And then also I uh, just grabbed the large punch instead of the smaller one like I originally planned. So I decided to use a napkin or a tissue paper so that I could easily pull away the center of that tissue from the circle there 
and not try to punch again and mess up my circle. So uh, that's what he ended up doing, but it just came out so weird. So I had left the top part of this picture unglued so that I could tuck that um, frame behind it. But this is where I'm noticing that, oh my gosh, that napkin, it had some pine trees on it, but you can see the way the trunks look. That looks like tentacles from some alien monster. I think of that movie Alien or, no, what is, War of the Worlds? <laughs> Something like that. And then the, the top part, I don't know if I show it again, but there's a little spot there where there's just between the trees, which there are, is a sketching of like pine cones and stuff. It looks like, it looks like the alien ship shining down on the earth. So I, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is horrid. And, uh, so I have to do something about that, but uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down and I'll, I'll fix it later. <laughs> Yeah, here's where I really just realized it is just looking so weird. Those are the tentacles, and then uh, on the top there you can see the beam of light <laughs> from the alien ship. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be fixing that. So then I decided to use some washi tape to kind of cover up that seam where uh, the little windows folded over, and um, I ended up covering this washi tape up with some lace. So I really like how this trim is uh, light and airy and you can see a lot of the background behind it. So I end up gluing that onto the left side of the tag there. I kind of like how this part is missing some threads. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. So I found this little piece of lace and I think this is going to look really good to cover up the tentacles there. But um, I, I was thinking, oh, this would have made a perfect hinge. I didn't even have to use the washi tape or the little fold out on the, on the window, but hindsight, right? And so that's okay. I'm going to just glue it over the hinge anyway. So off camera, I went ahead and added some seam binding to the top of the tag and this little shiny gold cord. I think that came out really cute. And I went ahead and added the lace to the hinge and a little bit of this book page, which was uh, punched out from the center here and a little bit of washi tape. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it now. I think it, it came out okay, and it's just decoration. It's just a window frame for my little froggy here. And so I wanna add a little bit more to the top and just kinda layer it a little bit more, but I think I've got a lot of pink going on, so I, I pulled out this trim here and I'm just going to cut that off because I want the full flower on here and I think I think I need four flowers so I think four flowers will be plenty and I don't know if there's a back side or a or if it even matters. I think this side looks better though, so I'm gonna stick that side down. I don't know how this is gonna glue, <clears throat> and I ran out of tacky glue, and I don't have any Fabri-Tac right now. I could have swore I ordered some, and yeah, it must be, it must be the same on each side because 
it's like embossed or whatever with little flower prints on there but anyway I don't know how this is going to glue with this art glitter glue I think art glitter glue is not always the best um, it just absorbs into that fabric this felt yeah so let's try it one more time <laughs> now that there's glue soaked in there um, but I might have to wait until I run to the store and get some some of the correct glue. I don't know about you, but I've been having a hard time finding Fabri-Tac. And I could have swore I ordered some the other day, but I couldn't find anything anymore, so I must not have actually ordered it. I must have forgot thought I ordered it and didn't order it, which has happened before. Well, it's it's sticking. Let's just let's just see. Let's just let it sit there. And if I can flick it off with my fingernail, then it'll have to be re-glued. If it stays, then we're good to go. But I was also thinking that I would like to add a few uh, pink sequins onto the centers of those flowers just to bling that up a little bit more. I dug through my metal pieces and I thought, what if I added this little key um, right about here and it'll just, it's like a little handle to flip up the window frame. I like this key and then maybe I'll just go ahead and string something through the little loop there because I think it was meant to be a charm but it could also be just decorative with the circle in the middle there too but I don't know if I don't like the trim there because I got a little much going on with this so I don't know if I need more trim hanging off the side but I think this will help weigh that down too so that um, it stays down. However, when it's really heavy and you're flipping it this way, it might cause problems, but I don't, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, one more thing I wanted to take a look at is as I flip this up, you know, I've got the tag all embellished, but the page is still looking a little bare. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I added a couple little pearl dots here in addition to the trim. I tried adding some sequins, but it just seemed a little too much and I didn't want to overdo it, but these little pearl dots give it just enough to add a little more interest to this page without the window folded over. and. So I think that came out very nice. And here's another look at the inside of my tag. And then fold it over the whole look. And I think it came out really pretty. So I think this is one of my favorite pages so far. I'm really um, happy that I was able to come up with something a little different since I already had tags throughout my journal, how was I going to distinguish the prompt of tag? Because <laughs> I always put tags in my journals. There's no way I'm not going to. So um, I knew this one would be challenging just because of that uh, as far as doing something to distinguish itself. So anyway, let me know what you think. And uh, also, how do you like Mr. Froggy? I think he's so adorable. So... Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget, if you would, give me the thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.